Hey Digi fans, welcome back to DigiDom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at poetry. My main man Jay-Z said rap is poetry, which must mean poetry is rap. Have a think about that when you're getting into the voiceover poetry challenge. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Adobe Spark apps for free, Adobe Spark page, post and video. And if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, let's get on with the voiceover poetry challenge. Enjoy. So, first of all, I'm using my laptop today. So you'll see I'm at spark.adobe.com and I've logged in. Uh, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you need to have downloaded the Spark video app. Um, but let's get going. So I'm going to create a project and I'm going to go for a video because this is a voiceover challenge. And one of the really cool things about Spark video is that you can use your voice. So uh, I'll call it voice over, ooh, spell it right. My English teacher would go crazy at me. No, not even a space. Voice over poetry challenge. Okay, great. Now, there are templates that you can use, but I'm going to start from scratch because I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. There is a tutorial that you can use, but I'm better than that. So listen up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, for this voiceover challenge, I've chosen this poem, Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson, because I think it's, it's pretty awesome. I really like Robert Louis Stevenson. He's done loads of good poems. Now, this is from a site called Poetry Foundation. Uh, you'll see the name in the browser, poetry, poetryfoundation.org. You can search for things like children. You can, If you search for children, for example, it will give you uh, children's poetry. You can select there. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to this particular poem, and please do use this, but you can use any poem you like. This one is just a particularly good one. It's not too long, it's not too short, and it's very, uh, it lends itself very well to this particular challenge. So I'm gonna give myself, gonna give my video a title. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay, cool. See, it senses itself for you, which is great. Uh, now I'm gonna add in a photo. Now find a free photo here and go just go for bed. Oh, that one looks cool. I like cats. Who doesn't like cats? Some people don't like cats. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to oh, get that text, put it up to the top so we can see the cat. You see that? I wanted to see the cat. You can actually zoom in if you like. You can move it around slightly. But there we go. I like that. That looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to do a voiceover. So you press and hold this big button in the middle, the kind of microphone button. Let's have a look. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Always make sure that you hold the button until you've completely finished what you're saying. Let's have a little listen. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Now, music, you'll have noticed that. Now the music's on, I want the music on. Now you can have a look through all sorts of different ones here. Quite like that one. Because this is bed in summer, I want it to be quite relaxing. Mm. That one's quite nice. Now I like that one because it reminds me of like music that you might listen to when you're a baby uh, to get yourself to sleep. So that's pretty cool. Gonna keep that one. Okay. So we selected that one. That's great. Let's just make sure it's selected. We've got that little tick coming in there. And I've got my title screen. I'm going to add another slide in. Don't forget, if you need to, you can just move them around wherever you like. Um, I'm going to add my first slide in, so I need my first bit of text. So I'm going to copy and paste here. In winter, I get up at night. Now, I use Control-C to do that. You can also... Uh, you know, right click and do things like that. But I've used Control and C, uh, or Command and C, which is on a Mac. Um, right, let's go to text, let's pop it in there. In winter, I get up at night. Uh, let's find a photo. Now, nighttime, what do you see in the skies sometimes? 
when it's at, when it's night, you see a moon. The moons always look pretty awesome. Oh, look at that one! It's like a like a blood red moon. Now you'll see because this is quite a tall photo. Um, it's kind of put it in a position that means we can't really see it. I'm going to change it to there. Oh, do you know what? I've changed my mind. I want to do it differently. I want that one. Great. Okay, that looks awesome. Now, uh, with the text, I actually want it to be a caption. I want it to be more subtle. So I'm going to do that. Now, let's put it onto two lines. Let me try and get it. Actually, do you know what? I might go even smaller. In winter, I get up at night. Now, one of the things you can do with text as well, you can move it. I'm going to, put, I'm going to start off with the text in the bottom left. I'm going to do my voiceover. In winter, I get up at night. Don't forget, keep the button on until you've finished everything that you want to say. Uh, I can preview here. In winter, I get up at night. New slide. Uh, what's my next line? And dress by yellow candlelight. I want you to start thinking now, what am I going to search for? Uh, what am I going to search for in the free images? Of course, it's going to be candle. I think that's going to look really cool. So change that to candle. Oh, nice. What do I like best? Uh, oh, that one's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, nice. And dressed by yellow candlelight. Now, uh, I'm going to go to the text again. I'm going to make all of my my poetry sort of lines. I'm going to make them all captions. Now, this one, we had it in the bottom left. This one, I think I'm going to move it top right and dress by yellow candlelight. Time to record the voiceover. And dress by yellow candlelight. Okay, preview. And dress by yellow candlelight. Cool. Add in my next slide. Get my text. In summer, quite the other way. Now, you, if you if you don't um, you don't have to copy the text. You can just type it in. In summer, comma, quite the other way. Okay, change it to a caption. Uh, put my photo. Uh, find a photo. Now, what I, what I will show you here is you, don't, you if you've got your own photos, you can upload your photos. That's fine. You can also you might have them on Dropbox or in Google Photos, Google Drive, something like that. Uh, but I'm I I haven't got photos on my computer that I can use for this. Lots of you probably can't. So, ooh, that one looks pretty summery. Nice, I like it. Now I'm going to go. So we're on caption. That's great. But if you see that this text is a lot larger than this one and this one, so I'm going to try and make them all the same. So I'm going to text minus text minus again. Okay. This one was bottom left. This one was top left. I'm going to put this one top right. Oh, maybe we'll just move around in a clockwise fashion. In summer, quite the other way. In summer, quite the other way. Okay, and then the last one for this first verse, I have to go to bed by day. Okay, add in my slide. Maybe I'll put my photo in first. Uh, bed. Ha, this one's cool. I like that one. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'm going to try and add in some text. Put my text in. Remember, I had it copied. I have to go to bed by day. Make it into a caption. Uh, try and make it the same size as the rest of them by bringing it down and down again. And don't forget, we're going to go clockwise. So I'm going to stick it in the bottom right. I have to go to bed by day. Okay, now you can preview like I have been doing all of your slides by clicking on you know this little uh, play button here. But if you want to see the whole thing that you've done so far from start to finish, press this one down here. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. In winter, I get up at night and dress by yellow candlelight. In summer, quite the other way. I have to go to bed by day. Cool. And then it credits the people that took, actually took the photos that you use. So that's what the uh, credits, this one here, this credit slide, that's what that one's for. 
And it's nice to give people a bit of credit for the work that they did on taking those photos that we use for free. Cool. Now you'll see we've got another two verses to go, but I don't need to show you how to do those. I think you're pretty much experts by now. So get on with your voiceover poetry challenge. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. As always, share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom. Find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience, give you a digital round of applause, and just generally say, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Right, if you want to get these videos as soon as they come out, what do you need to do? You need to subscribe. Apart from that, I am going to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.